we're going to take a trip on over to the winner's side of things real quick. So first, I'd like to introduce the best peach on the planet, the lone invader from the south. I'm speaking about Sam Sora, originally from Louisiana, rep in Florida, and E United. Let's go. And his opponent, Mr. Defense himself, representing three different characters, Olimar, Rosalina, and Palutena. And I know you guys love watching this guy. Let's call up Liquid to buzz to the stage. Can you defend the North? I'll try, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to Buzz and let's go Austin and Ajax. Over to you guys. He's so wholesome, man. I love like, the Buzz, dude. He's got his Yeezys on, his 20K Yeezys. I feel it. Like, look, I, I was I was definitely expecting something a little bit more than that. I'm going to yeah. try. No, I feel it. <laughs> well, the thing is, when you think about it, this tournament is called Defend the North, but who are we defending it from? Sam Sora? Is that, is that one, it? The one solo target is Sam Sora. We, I mean, we defended from the Greater North. True, Canada definitely Canada. went down early on. Yeah, uh, you know they, they quite a few of them came out too. You had Smock, you had Fled, and you had Venom um, was out. Venom was mm -hmm. the last one. But right now we're talking about Sam Sora, like you said, coming in from Florida, previous in Louisiana, and the Buzz definitely one of Mr. Consistent in terms of being one of the very talented players at the top end. It's mm. you you may not like his play style overall too much, but it's a I it, love his play it, style. It's so hard to defeat. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's very similar to like Sinji, like we were talking about. Like he's really good at just put, putting up that wall and playing off your frustrations going for a huge mm -hmm. punish game afterwards. Now, what's crazy about this matchup is these guys, according to PGR events, just PGR events alone, they are 1-1. They are very tied up. But last time they faced off, the Buzz actually snuck the win over at Smash at Paramount using Rosalina. Because remember, Smash right. at Paramount was like that first tournament that the Buzz was like, you know what? I'm going to try Rosalina out throughout all top of eight. And then he got second. Yeah, and it ended up working out for yeah. him very well. And I, get, I honestly, he felt insanely comfortable using Rosalina against the likes of Peach from Sam Sora. I don't know if he's going to do that this game. I, I overheard them over at the water cooler talking about, like, so who are you going? And he hasn't decided yet. Uh, he doesn't know if he's going to go Olimar or Rosalina. I mean, at this point, it's game time, so we need an used, answer. He's used Rosalina just re, uh, against Sinji not that long ago, so it's mm -hmm. relatively warmed up. Uh, obviously, to Olimar, he's been playing it for so long, he gets what he's doing. But I think to start we're probably going to see the Rosa depending on the stage pick. Uh, if it ends up being a smaller stage, I think we'll see the Olimar. But if they just uh, decide to go to PS2, I think it's going to be the Rosa so he has a little bit more room to work with and play the anti-float game a little bit better. And even though I was talking about them being 1-1 in PGR events, if you think about the other events before, like PGR, they're 3-2. They're like, and, and Sam Sora, I believe, has that lead. Uh, because they, they met at like Smash Summit mm -hmm. as well as uh, Smash United. Yep. And those weren't like PGR events. So they were good tournaments. Like, obviously, Summit mattered a lot, but it was invitational, so there were no points distributed. Yeah, uh, it seems like they're just doing a, a quick. Hand quick warmer? button check. It looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of an error, but like, yeah. so this is the set, you know, everyone's. A lot of people are waiting for it, but I know there's one more afterwards that we'll be talking about later on. Yeah, though. We, the, 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 the underdog story. There's another tree. Uh, yeah, if another you tree. If you don't understand uh, why Mars was in losers, you can find out this next round upcoming. But first, we got Olimar is the pick. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's going to be. Well, the thing is, he, he's gotten other characters during warm ups, too. Mm. So you never That's know. True. What's gonna, you never know what's going to happen. That's true. It, it, you know, we never know what's going to happen right there. But one thing that we do know that you should do is hit the follow button for everything that is House of 3000 currently watching this right so now. Hit that button right Make there. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you can. I can't get the slide to change for some reason. There, there it is. is. I said, go ahead. I swear I'm not the only one that has trouble with this. I swear, yeah. Devin. Yeah, go ahead and throw them a sub or a follow if you can. Show some support to everything that they're doing behind the scenes. We also got those Xeno Weeklies you guys know and love happening every Wednesday in New York City. You see a lot of these New Yorkers are facing off in the heat of the moment. But we're going to get back into the set. Hand warmers have been completed. Technical issues have been figured out. Rock, paper, scissors in favor of the buzz. Now, do you think this will be a monumental moment a for the rest of their set, Ajax? A very quick ban uh, without hesitation of PS2 and Smashville. It was just frame perfect. And then also a ban on Kalos, not wanting to deal with the zone, uh, you know, the defensive play of the buzz. I'm pretty, like, I I'm not very surprised by that. So Battlefield is the stage. Again, not really too shocked. Both characters thrive off this. What are they doing? You want to do one more round? I use Tornado, man. Shock Paper Season again? Oh, oh I it, it's for the music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. that, that, that matters, dude. You need that pump up music. Uh, yeah, what it, is your strategy in rock, paper, scissors? Like, what, what is the meta game there? Rock always. I always use tornado. Like, I, I can't help it. It always wins. It's not a thing. It's like it's like playing a game chart, you know? 
That's not how this. My game genie. That's not how the. That's not how I this put works. in my codes. That's, that's not how this works. I know. So we got Olimar coming out. Not say say goodbye to that Rosalina. We got Olimar back, even persisting throughout the nerfs. Because you know, you know, a lot of players such as like some, like Myron have complained about how when Olimar holds shield, still vulnerable because of the helmet. Uh, the buzz finds a way. He got uh, second place last week at low tier city also taking some nerfs too to be, you know knock back on both the fair and back throw uh, is peach and you see there's a, plenty of situations that have occurred where prior samsara would have won around but he doesn't he's got to work a little bit harder but he's also another character specialist playing his character for so long knows how to adjust around it yeah and speaking of character specialists you saw the buzz messing around with all of our back in the brawl days as mm -hmm. well as smash 4 as a secondary so like both these players just love their characters throughout the years and years of Smash. Just consistently throwing out these back airs to destroy these small Pikmin. Wow! Wow! Okay. Three? D look, if you want to keep back airing my Pikmin, I'm going to let them slap you one, two, three times in a row, even this right back up. And you saw that up smash from the purple Pikmin just apply so much shield pressure against Sam Sora. He was struggling to approach at that point. Okay, and this is something that DeBuzz can do a lot with Olimar. He can uh, throw... Okay, you're going to punish that back air. Try to go for, uh, for the, the little mini float. Gets the punish right afterwards. But whenever the buzz is in disadvantage, he always throws a Pikmin to try to like counteract an approach from his and opponent. And that punish before is something you kind of fall asleep at the wheel occasionally on. When you see the buzz throughout that forward smash, he was still able to shield after. It's relatively fast if he spaces it right and he got the punish with the up smash. Let's see if Samsara can get this edge guard. That was a sneak. You see how fast? He just slipped into that ledge, but it doesn't matter. Samsara still gets the kill afterwards. He got ourselves a two stock match. Yeah, unfortunately, these hands are rated E for everyone, and the buzz had to take that L, but. Sam Sora, he's so explosive. Whenever he finds his opening, you have to accept the fact that you're probably taking a 40, maybe 50% combo. But the same thing could come in from Olimar. Spamming out these up bears, denying him stage ground. Hold on, he's already at 100 damage? What happened? It, it, it pretty much just matched he's up. Dead. Oh, he's dead! He's alive. Ledge. He's alive. The Buzz, luckily, still getting by, living on Brawl time from the looks of things right here. Get it, get by, but not that time. The back air immediately as soon as he got off the ledge. Was the Buzz ever center stage, that entire stock? I don't believe so. Uh, he spawned in and just... Angel platform and that was the last time. Yeah, angel platform and to get bodied. All right, here we go. 67% on Sam's Sword. DeBuzz could easily turn this into a stock. He's oh, got stage giving control. up stage advantage right there. Trying to read a neutral get up by pushing forward a little bit too early. Going for those hard reads. I mean, yeah, we're taking the stock. That was a charged purple. Purple's got those big kills on them. They're, they're they're, they're hardy, they're hardy Pikmin. Yeah, speaking of purple, he's got two of them online right now, so you know that he's, he's going to be very scared to go for floats up close to the buzz. He's going to constantly get hit, but he's trying to break them right now. Just throwing off those backers like before, that's one down. There we go. Up smash from Monique coming out. Tries to do it again, but it, uh, Sam Sora has that ability to be able to space out that forward air because of the crown. Like, Peach reaches so far with that. Mm -hmm. it, you always, it, it, every time you get hit by it, you're like, what's the startup on that again? It, no matter how much startup it has, you still get caught by it. But yeah. that time, the buzz could be one to close out the stock with that off smash. Yeah, he gets it with the red Pikmin. Has a purple right back in the action. Throws another Pikmin just to try to get some damage on Samsora. Oh, uses the whistle as super armor to get through that forward air. That was a smart call, too. Consistently yeah. getting hit at the ledge. A good route taking there, avoiding the turn up. I feel like I'm having deja vu for a second there. Samsora was denying uh, the buzz any sort of stage control. Again, hits him with the another... Vegetable, look out! Oh, he's already used his jump. Turn ups! Yeah, he had to commit at that point once that jump was gone. He had to find his way back to ledge with that up B. And you saw Sam Sword just putting the body right in front of ledge. Like, look, you have to come to me. I got this Nair primed and ready for you. And she was spinning. And like I said, he had to. He had to go for the ledge. If he, chose, if he goes above the ledge and lands down on the ground, he is so vulnerable to whatever Sam Sora wants. So he just has to bank on trying to mix up when he goes for the ledge and try to go in between the nares. Yeah, that's so scary because even if you happen to get by, Sam Sora just jumps back on and hits you with the back air anyways. Or just decides to land in front of you, baits out the, uh, the spot dodge, and throws you back off. It's so many free layers available to Sam Sora. And you have a potential counter pick coming out here. He's switching tags. Is oh, the Rosa yeah. coming out? Yeah, the moment you see the tag switch, the character's coming. We got the Rosa coming in. Instead of the Olimar, yeah. I think, where, where did we end up going? We're going to a slightly wider stage yep. in Town and City. Again, this is uh, what happened at Smash at Paramount when DeBuzz won using solely Rosalina mm -hmm. against Sam Soros. So this is what he feels more comfortable in. 
And that was game number one, so why not experiment with the Elmore? See how you feel with it. And you got you got five games to play with, potentially. Exactly. And you always have to respect not just Luma, but that new Nair. That new Nair combos into up air. It combos mm. into even back air if hit at the right spot. If you so got if you got a good Nair in Smash, like you're set. Oh yeah, no, you're top tier if you have a good Nair. That that is for sure. <laughs> Okay, we're chilling again. You see Sam Sora, you know, kind of trying to duck around these aerial approaches from DeBuzz. There we go. Luma's going to be gone for a bit. It's just running through my head how many characters have a good Nair and how I'm getting blown up probably in chat right now. Like, oh, yeah, Gendorf has a good Nair, but he's not top tier. Gendorf's good. All right. <laughs> But right back into this though, very, very dead even game. Uh, I like the fact that you see the Buzz playing retreat. He's trying to make it so he, he uh, Samsara has to play him in the air. And once he commits to that, he can throw out that retreating hitbox from that bear and Luma still being in the way. I love the control that the Buzz has over Luma. It, it's out of this world, really. He gets that grab, he waits for Luma to move right in front, try to get the, the pickup, the little setup. He's playing 2v1 by himself. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. he's controlling Sonic and Tails. It's not fair. I mean, you know, they could, the way to win is what Samsora has been doing so far, primarily targeting Luma as much as possible when the opportunity is there. You got to get rid of Luma so you don't have to worry about things like that. That forward smash covering both neutral get up and roll. Wow, that looked like a missed input if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. I think that was supposed to be bits or something. But hey, you know, it didn't get too big of a punish. The was able to play with that disadvantage. It's like when, you, when you're a Yoshi man, you accidentally go for an egg roll, you know? Like, you just gotta you yeah, play no, with the cards you're dealt. No Yoshi ever intentionally egg rolled. Yeah. Nair to get rid of the Luma. Peach has so many options at her disposal to delete Luma. All you gotta do is just hit her off stage and she's done for. You don't have to dispose of all her health. You saw it up smash get charged by DeBuzz. Yeah, you saw Fantastic the Fantastic tech! Avoids the neutral air, but it's, doesn't avoid the second one. That's what I was talking about in that last game where the buzz had to try and get by, got hit by the nair. You could still react and get up so quickly instead of the nair that was, uh, excuse me, the back air was the nair that time closing that stock out. I like that Luma was a bodyguard there to make that technically safe. Mm -hmm. A little jab. I'm shocked Sam Sword didn't go for the roll, but maybe that's what the buzz was waiting for. And it's so important to have that bodyguard in the way too, because then you don't get as easy a conversion off of, say, down tilt into Nair or other things. And that takes away a little bit of what Samsung wants to go for, but Samsung understands how he needs to play around it. Yeah. Definitely protecting Rosalina. There we go, Nair through the turn up, pops him up. Samsung is gonna go to the right side of the Wow, was that, he just shot Just Luma. do it to him, throw, throw your boy out there, just yeah. go, go take the fight for you. Not gonna get the kill, but. Oh, oh yeah, this shit, wow, what? That's some plot armor right there, only getting the, the, the single hit of the up air. Didn't even get to close it out. I don't know even know how he did that. But like SDI, the gods, there we go. Forward air on the neutral getup. Going to be able to get that stock away. And there you go. Going straight after the landings once again. Trying to make sure that the buzz doesn't feel comfortable being aerial because the buzz has just been spending most of this match short hopping, trying to establish pressure. I like he's mixing up his launch stars below the stage too. Like sometimes he waits for a while before committing to it, and sometimes he just does it immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's what you gotta do when you got a predictable recovery like that. And Sam Swart landing down with the forward air. It's one of his go-to moves. It Voids the nair. Trying to go for the same thing he did last time. Go for the nair to try and follow up with another nair on get up. But that time the buzz able to get by. The buzz trying to go for some of these nairs. Call out a jump too. That time getting it. Okay, grabs the turn up. Try to avoid it. Good set up by Sam Sora. He two framed with a down tilt. Set him up for success. Takes away the second stock. I feel like the buzz's answer has uh, not been working out here. What? Yeah, just very swift mental awareness on Sam Sora. Recognizes uh, that kill option where he had it. Crossing up the buzz, trying to force him into the corner. Trying to set him up with that up air as well. Another down tilt. Peach gets down tilt. It's going to be tons of damage coming your way. I like the way that these two have been playing the mid-range. Like every time they're about a character uh, length way or so, you see that Samsora is ready to commit to grabbing that turn up, not too like afraid of getting hit by maybe star bits. But the buzz also working on baiting him into approaching. There you go, getting the nair into up air. Not like previous game, that's not gonna kill that early. Okay, throw that turn up. Baits out the jump with the turn up. So he had a forward air waiting that uh, defensive option. Now DeBuzz is struggling. He's off stage. There Goes go. to the forward, you're gonna hang on that ledge for too long. We're still gonna live fantastic DI from DeBuzz. Uses the platform to regain a double jump on Town and City. And you know, after all that, throwing out Luma to try and throw off Samsora. Samsora being prepared for all of it, still not dying. Just getting through underneath Samsora. Gonna get another chance, but get forward throw. I was about to comment about how Sam Sora, this is literally just a flow chart to him. Like, mm -hmm. what to do again? Okay, that's not, well, I don't know what part of the flow chart that was. 
but using down smash that early, knowing that he was going to go for like a neutral get up like immediately. Just many, call them out. Many eyes, uh, eyebrows rose. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Max. And many eyebrows rose uh, at the end of that because they saw the last hit come through. Kind of similar to what we saw earlier against uh, Mr. E and uh, Jen, where the very last hit in there was able to get that shield poke. Just a fantastic finish. The buzz now down without an answer. Oh, Olimar didn't work. Rosalina didn't work. What has to change? It, yeah, you know, he's you down 2 0. He's going to opt to go back to yeah. Olimar. You know, he saw him shaking his head. Just trying to figure out what am I supposed to do? Well, he mentioned at Smash at Paramount afterwards, it was like, yeah, the only reason I got second with Rosalina, it just felt like luck. A lot of it felt like luck. He didn't feel consistent with the character, so he wanted to focus more on Olimar. So Rosalina didn't work out, so he's going back to Olimar, see what he can do here, try to mount this uh, three reverse 3-0. I don't know if he'll be able to do it, but let's Let's wait and see. Sam Suarez has so much control currently. Yeah, same stage too. Deciding to stay on Town and City, having a little bit more room to work with while also having some platforms to occasionally trap and escape to too. But Sam Suarez looks so comfortable on this last one and just repeating that same success going into this next game. There we go. Calls out the jump. Hips waiting for him. And hands also the crown trying to deliver a message, but the buzz not trying to pick it up. Buzz, you know, I like the fact that the Buzz, instead of trying to commit to an anti air there, it's like, you know what? Let me go to the other side. Let me try and recent, uh, like, recenter stage and see if throw, I can throw off the Buzz, uh, excuse me, Sam Star a little bit. I like that air dodge because he's able to pick up the turnover with it. Probably didn't want it though. Mm -hmm. Okay, just him with the yellow Pikmin. You see Sam Star trying to apply so much pressure with those back airs because he didn't want to, get, want to give the Buzz a chance to breathe mm -hmm. and pluck some more Pikmin. Yeah, huge thing with Sam Suarez's playstyle. It finally conditioning into uh, a Tomahawk. Sam Suarez has been regularly landing with aerials, so now the Buzz has to respect that. Now, two on landing, that time he's going to get caught with the back air. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things. Like, maybe you just eat the grab so you don't die in the process, but eventually you're going to take too much damage from it, so it becomes a guessing game. Yeah, you know, that's just layering the mix ups over and over again. You have to be super consistent in order to do that. And you see the way that the Buzz is starting to slowly get a hold of his defense in center stage, but Sam Star is just running away. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to commit. He's playing super defensive. You know, he, he doesn't want to get approached by the Buzz whatsoever. He has a healthy stock lead. Yes, he's at high percent. That Yellow Pikmin tacked on a lot of electrical damage afterwards. There we go. Big grabs. You trying to use the super armor in case there's a hit coming and be able to just super armor right through that with the whistle. Yeah, exactly. And now the Buzz trying to go for the zoning approach again, but when you're behind a stock like so, it doesn't really work as well. Just keep throwing the Pikmin and try and bait Samsor to come in, but Samsor is just putting out retreating hitboxes, keeping the pressure while running away. Okay, playing extremely patient on this ledge. Goes in there, they're both rolling away. Down tilt? You gonna see pop him up. That multiple times the Buzz has been looking for a spot dodge read with one of these back airs, and Sam Star is just staying in shield because he knows there's no blue there. It's like, all right, I don't have to worry about you grabbing me. Instead, you have to worry about Peach Bomber. What a and mix up. 3 0 oh, potential coming in for Sam Sora over the Buzz. Currently, three stocks to zero. I don't know what he's gonna do to make this comeback. Dude, it might be a wrap. Like, I, I hate saying that. I do it a lot, but it's just like, when you're down. What? Come on, man. You try to you try to hit him with the birdie. This man needs to breathe, and you're sitting there I'm taking golf clubs to his helmet. Oh, oh god, yeah, she's still he's, he's, Yeah. Well, you know, well, if you're gonna end with a three stock, if that doesn't kill someone's mentality. I don't know what will. The buzz going, it's taking a trip down to loser's side. He was fated to win that, according to the seating. But when you're in winner semis, mm -hmm. I feel like seating doesn't matter at that point because that's when we're trying to figure out who deserves that higher seat, who deserves the higher placement. That's gonna be Sam Sora's victory, putting himself finally in the lead, according to PGR events.